If you want something small and compact with a 1.5 crop sensor, then you have something like the Sony Alpha 6000 series, various different lenses on it to keep everything small and compact. And this is a F4 16 to 70, and you can see it all easily fits in your hand. Obviously, if you want something, you know, a little bit bigger, then you have something that doesn't fit in the hand and a 24 to 70 2.8 lens welcome to another video i thought what we would just do in this video is a small little talk about small portable cameras like this or relatively small and portable cameras like this versus you know much bigger heavier duty cameras such as the nikon d4 that i have here the difference is obviously this is a four size body so you get the grip at the bottom which means that when you turn it this way you have all of the buttons to hands you have your autofocus button at the back there you have your dials here and here you have your shutter button here and you have a custom button here so you effectively have you know all of the controls to your fingers here you know it pretty much exactly you would you know when you're holding the camera this way i must admit i really do like this style of camera and i'm to be honest quite loath to even consider selling or parting with this nikon d4 until i've had a really good opportunity to think about you know what i might replace it with in the future you know whether i would stick with a, a nikon regular size body or you know or <laughs> go for something like this i actually quite like the look of the nikon d6 but that's even more expensive and really is yesterday's technology in comparison to the you know the z9 but the problem with the z series that's a whole new series of lenses and maybe that's something that i need to think about you know moving forward but we'll see but i have a lot of f-mount lenses most if not all of which can be uh, converted with an adapter to fit the z-mount lens so we'll have to kind of see you know what i do moving forward we'll just see where this channel goes and we will see what what i do or i don't do photography wise you can see it's a pretty big a pretty big rig to be you know carrying transporting and taking on holiday with you with whereas this is a crop sensor 1.5 it's a 16 to 70 lens obviously you have a custom button on the top you have a function button at the back so you have a couple of buttons there you have one dial on this alpha 6400 at the back for adjusting things and then you would use this rotating bezel back here to adjust other things like shutter speed and aperture. This is very small in the hand. Your finger obviously goes underneath it. You can hold it, you know, two fingers on the grip, one finger underneath, and then obviously one finger on the trigger button there. This lens is an E-mount lens. So this lens is smaller than the full frame lenses which keeps the entire system, you know, relatively compact. This is a Sony Zeiss lens, so the quality of this lens will be very, very good. But, you know, this is again, just a personal preference as to what you like, you know, whether you want a full-bodied camera, which will be far too big for most people, or whether you want, you know, a much lighter, more compact camera system like this, which basically does pretty much the same the same thing it's down to a personal preference and obviously you can't hold this by the side so when you turn this on its side then obviously you you know you basically have to if i turn it on so i can actually see then obviously with this one when you turn it on then you have to keep your finger on the top here and then you can take a picture like that hold it that way and then you just take your photograph that way that's if you want a very very light setup and then this one this might not actually focus down actually Ooh, surprisingly it does 
or if you want to hold it this way then you can turn it over that way and you can take your photograph that way. The reason why I particularly like a big body is many years ago it was probably um, in the 1990s when I was you know doing photography what I was doing back then is I was I used a Nikon F 800 I think and I really 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 wanted the the Nikon F5 uh, not that I needed the speed or anything like that I just liked the idea of the you know of a professional camera so I got the Nikon F5 and I really did enjoy that full-bodied experience I sold that switched to digital after many other people and I had the D300 and then I switched to the D700 and I absolutely love the D700 but I really did miss that full-bodied experience so when the Nikon D4 came out you know I just I kind of had to get it and I haven't really used it so much but that's a different story there are two other considerations to take into consideration when comparing a full body camera like this to a crop sensor like this. One is weather sealing and this pretty much should withstand pretty much most weather that we throw at it from arctic conditions, wet conditions, pretty much everything really and the battery will last a very very long time this type of camera of course the battery will die <laughs> pretty quickly and of course is not weather sealed so you know the first sight of some meaningful rain i'd be you know covering it up or protecting it so there's just a couple of other you know considerations to consider when looking at different types of camera as to how much how much protection you want it to have and how long you, and how long you want it to be able to last for do you want a long drawn out session or do you want a quick a quick short or do you want a quick short sharp session with something like that obviously when you're traveling you know carrying a, a camera like this it's not the the easiest of things to do and as you see in my in my other video on crop sensors then you may just need to take that crop sensor and watch your photographing you know into consideration because you know clearly this this is a big chunky heavy camera you know to be carrying around and it's quite heavy on on the neck although you can get proper um, proper supports and straps to go around your neck which would be significantly better than the supplied strap that I must admit I've always used maybe that's something else to look into you know in the future but of course something like this you know fits in your hand and is you know significantly smaller and lighter you know <laughs> to carry around with you if you enjoyed this video i do thank you very much for reaching to the end of this one and i will look forward to seeing you in the next one don't forget to like subscribe share hit that notification button and i'll see you in the next video thanks very much for watching